the best indicator for day trading. Okay, so you probably think, oh, um, there's this singular best indicator that's going to, you know, um, change your trading. Okay, so in this video, we like to talk, share with you our perspective about uh, indicators. Uh, not just actually not just for day trading, but uh, like in trading, it can be swing trading, can be position trading. Okay, um, so yes, let's get into it. So, question: uh, Which is the best indicator? Okay, uh, if you've been trading for some time, you know that there are tons of indicators. There's you know the MACD, the moving average, the stochastics, Bollinger Band, the parabolic SAR, and um, if you're new, you probably get very confused. Okay, in fact, uh, a lot of um, beginners, you know, their charts are filled with indicators. Okay, as if like indicators are uh, kind of uh, is the way to success. Okay, so. The, the question is, uh, which is the best indicator? And uh, here's the answer. Okay, here's the answer. It depends, okay? Um, to say that there's a best indicator is not the best question. Okay, I uh, will talk more about this uh, shortly. But uh, it really depends because uh, you must understand that trading is a very personal thing. Okay, so for example, if uh, you are a trend trader, meaning that you like to trade with the trend, then uh, a, a particular indicator will work better for you because uh, indicators are inherently different. Okay, uh, if let's say you are uh, you like to trade ranges, you like to buy on the bottom of the range and sell at the high, then um, another indicator will work better for you. Okay, so so really, this question, uh, which is the best indi indicator, is actually pretty. Flawed, right? It's, it's, a, it's not a very good question to ask, okay? So, we just want to touch a bit about why asking which is the best indicator is the wrong question, okay? So, because trading is not, it's not so straightforward. I mean, you, you must understand that uh, it's, it's not so simple. You, do, you don't just, you know, look up, put in an indicator and the indicator tells you to sell and then you sell, okay? I, I think you probably tried that before and you know that uh, it, it doesn't really work. Okay, I mean, if it's so simple, then uh, you don't have to watch this video. And uh, so, um, you know, that you don't have to go for courses. You just, you know, just go onto like MetaTrader, put inside indicators and, you know, everyone will be a millionaire. Okay, so trading is not so straightforward. Okay, trading uh, is a skill. Okay, and a skill, a skill that involves how like understanding price action, but understanding the context about market, then you use the indicators to time your entry. Okay, okay, let me just elaborate. So, for example, uh, you based on your uh, price reading ability, you conclude that price is currently in a uptrend. Okay, uh, maybe euro dollar is uh, trending up. So, if euro dollar is trending up, then naturally, uh, you want to be buying pullbacks. Okay, so you will be looking at uh, you know, uh, levels, support levels to buy, and then you use indicators to time uh, your entry of the support levels. Okay. But if let's say um, the market context right now is that uh, you know um, pressure is building up in a range, right? And uh, the previous trend was a, a, a bullish trend, so you expect it to break out. Um, then what you'll be looking for is you'll be looking for a breakout of the uh, the, the the resistance and uh, use that as entry. So the uh, the indicator that you'll be using will be a different indicator because that's a breakout trade. Okay, so so you must understand that. Uh, Trading is really about understanding context, not just using indicators. Okay, so instead of asking yourself about um, like what's the best indicator and stuff like that, I think ask yourself these three questions. Okay, so the first kind of question is, uh, what kind of trader are you? Okay, are you a day trader? Are you a position trader? Are you a swing trader? Okay, uh, and more importantly, like, uh, do you trade breakouts? Uh, do you trade counter trend? Do you trade uh, with the trend or do you trade ranges? Okay, um, you must be very clear about this. Okay, and once you, you know like what kind of trader you are, then ask yourself like, um, um, go and study like how does indicator work? Um, watch other YouTube videos. Uh, in our courses, we also talk about indicators, uh, how they work. So study indicators. So for example, uh, the Bollinger Band is actually, uh, how it works is actually, it, it uses statistics, right? And, it, it, it kind of assumes that a price will revert back to the mean. It's a reversion to the mean technique. So that indicator is uh, useful if you're trying to trade ranges. Okay, not to worry. We will show you one example uh, after this slide. Okay, so the last question you want to ask yourself is how can you integrate uh, the in indicator into uh, your system, right? So that the indicator is not 
uh, it's not your system. Let me just write that down. It's not your system. Okay, this is very crucial and important uh, to understand. Okay, earlier on we say that uh, don't make decisions just solely based on indicator. Right, you need to understand the market context first. Know what you know the overall structure and direction of the market before you use the indicator. Okay, so the indicator is not your system. Okay, so now let's go on to the charts and uh, let me just show you uh, an example. Okay, so uh, earlier on we asked ourselves the first question is what kind of trader are you? Okay, so in this case, let's just assume that I am a, uh, I'm a kind of like, I like to buy low and sell high, okay? Uh, or rather, I'm a, a ranging, I like to trade consolidation and ranges, okay? Uh, I don't want to trade breakouts, I just want to uh, buy at the bottom of the range and sell at the top of the range, okay? So you can see over here that uh, we are looking at pound dollar and uh, if you're not too clear what indicator this is, this is the Bollinger Band indicator. Okay, and uh, we, we have another video about this Bollinger Band. So check it out if uh, you don't know how to use the Bollinger Band. Okay, so you can see uh, structurally on the left here, um, there's some form of um, support. And if you look at this level and you look at this zone, you know that this level is kind of a good um, support level. Let me just highlight. Okay. So I know that um, I, I like to buy at the bottom of the range and I know that uh, there's, I kind of have a trading hypothesis that, okay, I want to buy, be buying off this level. So uh, look at the Bollinger Band. Okay, this is the lower band and just nice, this is a lower band. Okay, so I look at this level. Oh, okay, so the Bollinger Band lines up with the, the you know, support level and it's together with my buyers that I want to be buying the bottom of the range. So probably on the confirmation of this candle, Okay, I buy it up, okay, and I'll exit at the top of, uh, you know, somewhere here, the top of the range, or rather the top of the band, okay. So this is how you use the, uh, you know, this is how you use indicators. You don't just, uh, you know, oh, this is the top of the band, let me sell, this is the top of the band, let me sell, you know, this is the bottom of the band you buy, okay. That's a surefire way to lose money, okay, we tried that. I'm not too sure if you tried that, but if you try that yourself, you'll probably come to the same conclusion. I mean, if you can make it, Profitable, just you know, following uh, following like blindly following indicator. Please write to us. Okay, we give you money to manage because uh, we haven't seen that across uh, our fifteen years of training. Okay, so uh, yeah, that's about it for this video. Okay, uh, if you're new to our channel, hit the subscribe button, turn on the not notification button because uh, we create videos like this uh, every single week. Now we are very aggressive with creating videos because uh, our subscribers in the Telegram channel, um, you know, they have a lot of questions and we know that uh, this kind of videos can help them and it will definitely help you too. So uh, yeah, we'll see you in our next video.